Okay, so in this video we'll just have a very quick look at the scale tool. We are in object mode, so we're going to be scaling the entire object. Now, um, again, the three axes are going to be quite important here. So if we press S for scale, what will happen, hopefully, there we go, is we will get this handle appear. You can see those two black arrows, and if I drag out, it scales the object up. If I scale if I drag in, it scales the object down. Then I just left click to confirm how I want to look. Now, uh, it can be very sensitive, so if you have your cursor quite close to the center of the object when you press S, very small motion movements will blow up the shape quickly. Whereas if you have your cursor a long way away from the center when you press S, you can make finer adjustments. Um, you can also, if you want to make an adjustment a bit finer, is when you press S to scale, as it's dragging out, press sh hold down the shift key. So I'm holding down shift right now, and that slows down the rate of the expansion too. Okay. Now, um, you notice though when we're doing that, that is scaling on all three axes. Sometimes we're going to want to scale just on the one, because we want to stretch it out. So say for example, I want to create a, a wall shape rather than this cube. So what I want to do is I'm going to scale it along our Y axis, that's the green one. So much like the grab tool, I'm going to press S for scale. Then I press Y and that will constrain it so that it only expands along the Y axis. If I rotate around, I could also do the same thing here. I'm going to scale on the X axis to make it thinner. So I press S for scale and then X to keep it only on the X axis. And then when I drag in, you can see it's only scaling on that one axis and just like that we have a wall shape okay